What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Luna Figs. I'm sitting outside Walmart and today we're going to try something different. Today I guarantee I will not walk out of this store empty-handed. Uh, it might be something I've collected for years or it might be something I've never seen before but I guarantee you I will walk out of here with a new toy. Stick around to find out what it is. Prepare for launch. <laughs> all right right off the bat i was just kind of wandering through the christmas section to see what they had and it's snoop dog <laughs> oh boy <laughs> got garland a sweater ornaments got a little snoop dog <laughs> snoop on a shelf i don't know oh snoop on the stoop oh boy <laughs> it's a take on uh Elf on the shelf. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Oh, there's a dog and a bobblehead and snow globes and shot glasses. And oh, and of course there's Martha on the mantle. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Not really in keeping with today's video's theme, but <laughs> I had to share it with you. All right, we are taking a look at uh, Pokemon now. Not very high on the contenders list because I don't know anything about Pokemon and have no interest in it. But they have some neat looking stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Little battle pack with Pikachu and whoever that guy is. Charizard? Yeah, alright. <laughs> ah, Bendy's. That's a contender. Sammy Lawrence. These are pretty cool looking. I do like this yellow color. Where's that creepy guy that I always see? I don't see him. There's the full color bendy back there. Got some Sonic, Streets of Rage, Altered Beast. Those are possibilities. I do have a fondness for Altered Beast. I already have a, a uh, Samus from that line, so it's not a bad line. Got the Stumble Guys. Got some Bandai's over here. Bandai's are good figures. I don't know don't anything about these properties though. No. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Ah, got the Simpsons over here. I'm a fan of the Simpsons. Actually watched the uh, newest Treehouse of Terror the other night. It was pretty fun. So that's a strong possibility. Of course, Motu. One of my favorite lines. Got Turtles of Grey Skull down here. So those are strong potentials. Got Masterverse, Joes, Retro Carded Joes, and I and Duke for a while. They've been playing the long game. Maybe I cave today. Who knows? Got wrestlers. There's Me Gene and Hulk two pack. It's a bit of a nostalgia there. Back in the day watching WWF uh, Saturday Night Main Event uh, got AEW so that's some neat stuff got some ultimates down here not much of a wrestling fan so I don't know how much of a chance that's going to happen can always pick up a new vintage collection maybe finally Get in on the acolyte characters. There's potential there. Oh, do they have any Black Series acolyte? No, I don't see any. There might be some out on the display in the aisle. So I haven't picked any of these up, so that's also a strong contender. This is really cool, but again, been playing the long game on that. Ah. Oh. These are too cool too. I love the Fleischer Superman. And uh, I did see where somebody took this and kind of customized the head a little bit more to make it look more like the old cartoons. Potential there. Got some dinos. Have big T-Rex, the Hammond Collection T-Rex. So that's cool. Got some legends been playing the long game on this Iron Man as well. 
I know there's supposed to be a new Spider-Man and Captain America coming. It's in this line. Oh, there's Bruce. Got some Ollie's fodder. I do have the other two zombies. I don't have the Scarlet, Scarlet Witch zombie. Another potential pickup. Ninja Turtles. Don't have any of the movie stars. Do have the rest of those retros though. Yeah, I think I've been looking for it now. I have been digging these uh, mutations mix and match. I like the metal head in that line. Not likely on this front. Transformers, oh, that Bumblebee could be cool from the 86 movie. That would be a nice addition to my Transformers collection. Humble as it may be. Wouldn't mind an 86 Bumblebee. So yeah, already lots and lots of options. Let's uh, keep going, see if we can find anything else. Have some die cast over here, check out the Hot Wheels. Oh, that's pretty neat. So we're looking, gives me Batmobile vibes, but it's not. <laughs> uh, speaking of Batman, got a five pack there. Got some super rigs. Hot wagons, some race reverse, that's always an option. Dude, like a lot of these. Maybe even one of the two packs. That could be fine. Matchbox. Uh, some cars and monster jam and monster trucks. Got a weird looking, is that like an angle angular fish or something? Don't know what that is. Is that supposed to be a piranha? I think that's supposed to be a piranha. Yeah, Monster Jams. Some premiums over here. Uh, these are always a uh, possibility. I do love the Starship Selects. I don't have the Gauntlet yet. Yeah, we've got a little Pawn Stars over here. That's pretty neat. Yellowstone, still haven't watched that. Ferris Bueller, NCIS Hawaii, Airplane. Got lots of potential there. Got some NASCAR. Not a NASCAR guy, so that's not likely. Hmm, a motorcycle. That could be fun to use with uh, one of my three and three quarter figures. I've been looking for a red motorcycle. Hmm. And we have options. So I don't know. What are we potentially going to do with that? Alright. We got some RC and stuff over here. But I think. Well, let's look at the larger scale. No, he have been asking for that. So I'll show some of the larger scale stuff down here. Not a ton at this Walmart for the larger scale stuff. That is it for a die cast. I've been trying to cut back on my Lego buying, but you know, it's still up for a fair game. <laughs> Especially if I find something cool that I like. Uh, still need to put my 3PO together. I haven't gotten around to that. There's some sort of promotion right now. I don't know if it's still going on, but if you spend $65, I believe on Star Wars Lego at Walmart, you can get a free pod racer build. So that's pretty cool. Checking out the rest of the Lego section. Got all kinds of Star Wars. I saw a lot of rollbacks going on right now, so that is a good opportunity. Uh, got Speed Champions. I've never done a Speed Champions. That could be a new opportunity. Uh, Stitch. He's on rollback, so I love Stitch. And da -de -de -de. If this was on sale, this would be a no-brainer. <laughs> but alas, it's not. Yeah, we've got some poly bags. Some friends and creator. But that is it for Lego. All right, we're back in electronics now. Checking out some of the collector stuff. Got some Nightmare Before Christmas. 
which I do love. Got these little mini cars almost looks like. Those are kind of fun. Uh, there's more stuff down here. What, what we got over here? Got a little anime section. What we got to check out over here? Got My Hero and Chainsaw Man. Not really much of an anime guy, so not likely to pick up anything from this section. But let's uh, go check out the rest of the collectors. All right, over in the collector section, we've got some pops over here. Not really seeing anything all that new or interesting. Let's see what we got over here. I do like the uh, patchwork Catwoman and Batman and all those. We got Dooku up here. That's pretty neat. Uh, we got these new War of the World Hero figures from McFarlane. The little build a figure. Those are $20 a piece. Huh, a little pricey. Got some Bandai. Again, it's all anime stuff. Which just is not my scene. Oh, speaking of Treehouse of Horror, I think I called it Treehouse of Terror. Which, why isn't Treehouse of Terror? Come on, alliteration. <laughs> These are pretty cool. So that's a strong possibility. 10 bucks for one of those. Uh, Beetlejuice, that'd be cool. I love Beetlejuice. Nice mecha figure there. Uh, Ultraman. Got Vegeta. And some uh, more Bandai figure arts up here. Oh, we got the new Tactical Spawn. First time seeing this at Walmart. Did come across these at uh, Target a little while back. So there's the tactical one and just the regular spawn. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, I do love Rat King. So that's cool. I've already got Elvira. Oh, we got some Barnyard Commandos down here. Did see these at another Walmart. Kind of a re-emerging line from back in the day. I think this was more of a 90s. Private Saito Bacon. <laughs> those are pretty cool. I like those, they're kind of fun. Oh, got some Ninja Turtle statues. Here's Leo and Shredder. I have been seeing this and I was mistaken. I thought it was just a uh, re-release of <laughs> like the old turtles. But this is actually a new two pack. It's got like a battle damaged Leo. So this is the, uh, I think it's the rooftop encounter or something. So yeah, these are showing up in Walmart. So if you're after that one, got Megan down there, got the biker mice. Oh, there's that cool gray Hulk statue. Got a couple of those. And then out here on the end cap, we got Robo Force. Those are pretty cool. I loved Robo Force growing up. Biker Mice, Great Girlu, and then the Sectars down here. I never had any Sectars. A buddy of mine did though. They were pretty cool. But I do believe that is it for the collector section. And finally, let's check out the clearance. If I can find something cool and save money, win win. Ooh, and there's a contender Gargoyles. Goliath for 20 bucks. That is a really great deal. Really great looking line. Didn't watch Gargoyle, so I don't really have any connection to the property. That is a cool looking toy line. Oh, we got Angus up here. Disruptor. Got a few legends. So, not a ton. Back in the clearance section. But it's decision making time. Time to pick something out that's going home with me. Let's head out to the car and see what it is. All right, that is it for this Walmart toy hunt. And as promised, I did not come out empty handed. But you're still gonna have to stick around just a bit longer to see what I picked up. But recapping, did see quite a bit of stuff in there. 
Uh, clearance section was looking good. Saw that Goliath for 20 bucks. That was very tempting. Uh, saw lots of G.I. Joe, Motu, uh, Star Wars, you know, my usual <laughs> favorites. Uh, Transformers, that Bumblebee was tempting. Uh, Lego was looking good. Had a lot of rollback deals. So uh, good opportunity to save some money and pick up something cool. Uh, collector section, a lot of neat stuff over there. Some new stuff that I, we haven't been seeing much. Uh, only seen a couple times before. Some stuff I hadn't seen before at all. So <laughs> yeah, lots of options for today's video, which could be good, could be bad. <laughs> I had to narrow it down to one thing. Uh, but after much consideration, I was like, do I get something that I've been collecting? Or do I get something nostalgic? Or uh, something I've never had before? And I found something that scratched every part of the itch. Something nostalgic. Something new. Something that I've had before. But it's a new take on it. I went with the RoboForce. Max 89. Uh, this is an old line from back in the 80s. I had Max uh, way back in the day. Actually, if you look on the back of this, that's more what Max looked like back in the day. <laughs> he was just kind of a stump <laughs> with arms. Uh, and actually kind of a, an accordion type uh, thing going on in the center. Uh, his arms were accordion-like pretty simple but i love that toy it was a really cool toy back in the day it had a suction cup on the bottom <laughs> but uh as you can see they have updated max made them into this big mech looking robot really cool looking it's uh yeah giant robots a little bit of nostalgia something new and different this was my choice for the guaranteed pickup hunt so uh let me think let me know what you think is this something cool? Is this something you would have picked up? Or did I just totally blow it and <laughs> let you down? Uh, anyways, thought I'd try something new and different for today's hunt. Switch things up a bit. But that is all I do have for today. If you are new here and you like this hunt, or you want to see some of my other hunts or uh, toy reviews, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys next time around.